Hey everybody, welcome to another guitar lesson. My name is Sparky Parker, and today I'm going to show you how to play lead guitar in the style of Eric Clapton, and some tips and tricks to help your solos sound faster even though you're doing some kind of tricks to make you sound faster even though you're not doing as much work with your right hand. Okay, so let's get started. We're in the key of D, and we're playing the pentatonic scale in the key of D. And if you need help with your pentatonic scales, if you don't know them all, then I would refer you to my book, The Pentatonic Dominance, which I'll link in the description. So here's our D pentatonic scale, box one. All right, so let's go to lick one. This is um, the probably the most common little Clapton trick is this thing. Simple as that, but we can do that anywhere we want. Those are some examples of how to, how to use it on different strings, but let me show you here on the first and second string. So I'm going 13th fret on the first string to the 10th fret. And then we're gonna hammer on and pull off on that next note. 13th fret and then pull back off. Now that means I'm going to pick the 10th fret, but I'm not going to pick the 13th fret. I'm just going to hammer my finger on and pull it off. So I'm only picking that 10th fret one time. All right. Now, as you're pulling off, make sure you pull a little bit downward, like you're picking the string, like you're plucking it. Otherwise, if you go straight up, it's not gonna it's not gonna sound very clear. See, it kind of gets muted out if you go up, so go downwards. All right, that can take a little bit of practice, but um, it's not difficult once you get the hang of it. All right, so we got, and then we're gonna add the 13th fret of the second string and then back to the 10th fret, first string. So the whole lick is like this. Now I can do that anywhere on the scale as long as I'm kind of following the route of the scale. And I especially like to do it up here. So this is gonna be example number two. All right, so we're gonna go Okay, so that's just the same type of lick, only we're here at the 15th, or sorry, the 18th fret of the second string. Okay, so I'm going 18th fret, second string, 15th fret, first string, 17th fret, first string, and then I'm doing that hammer on pull off, 15, 17, 15. and then back to the beginning, so. All right, that's example number three. Or sorry, that's example number two. Example number three is this one. So Clapton uses this quite a bit at the end of a lick. All right, it's a nice little mean finisher of the lick. You can really kind of get some grit there. Okay, it's um, it sounds really fast, but um, it's actually not that hard to do. So what you do is start on the root note here on the 12th fret, fourth string. Then I'm just gonna lay my third finger down to get the 12th fret of the third string. So I got, then I go back to the root note, 12th fret, fourth string. Okay, and then I go to the 10th fret, third string, and back to the root note. 
So we got. The key with the speed on this is that you're laying your finger down to get both 12th frets instead of moving it from side to side, up and down. You don't want to like bounce it on and off. It's going to slow you down. So you also want to have this index finger right there at the, at the 10th fret ready to go. All right. Another key to make this sound really fast is to play upstrokes every time you're playing the third string on this example and down strokes when you're playing the fourth string. Okay, so that would be like down, up, down, up, down. So by alternate picking, I'm using efficiency on my side to uh, help me speed that lick up. All right, now I can use that any, just about any other place I want to on the scale, as long as I'm following the scale. All right, so those are some key Clapton signature licks. You can incorporate these in your solos and actually sound faster with uh, doing a little bit of trickery right there. All right, now the other thing I wanna talk about is the Clapton vibrato. Now, Clapton, when he does vibrato, he lets go of everything but the one note that he's holding on to there that he's vibrating, vibratoing. All right, so check it out. So it'd be like this. All right, so most people keep their hand on the neck, including me, but uh, so this is a little foreign to me, but this is how he does it. Okay, so you got to kind of let go of everything but that note and then shake that string. And it can take a little bit of practice to get that steady shake. Right? Um, but just keep playing with it. You can kind of get the hang of it. All right, those are your Clapton tricks. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure and like it and share with your friends. Subscribe and then visit me on Patreon or my website or my social media. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.